<sighs> Ethan's sisters have such good taste in clothes, don't you think? I know. But when you're on a first-name basis with every fashion designer in New York, it's hard not to have good taste. <laughs> you really look great, with. No, you look great. You look like a runway model. <laughs> ah, buonasera, signorina. Grazie, signore. Ah, la signorina parla italiano molto bene. No, but I can fake it a little. Hey, uh, 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 arriva dirty Roma. <laughs> Whereas Mario over here obviously can't. Well, fake. Uh, me? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 uh rigatoni mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Which, unfortunately, is not on our menu tonight. Uh, what? La musica is. The, uh, no one can fake the universal language. Ah, lingua universale. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, tonight, uh, me and Luigi will uh, play uh, the songs of uh, lovers everywhere. Signorina. Chad, you have to stop this. Huh? The more Therese is with Ethan, the harder it's gonna be for her to forget him, okay? Hey, look, I ain't got no say in this. And nobody does. Look, love is like out there all on its own. And there ain't nothing nobody can do to stop it. You know, I'm partially responsible for uh, what's happening with them tonight. What do you mean? Well, you know, Ethan was talking about how he uh, wanted to help Teresa get over her boyfriend and start dating again, so I told him to pay attention to her. Pay attention to Teresa? Yeah, you know, help her get her self-confidence back. How could you do that? I told you, Teresa's phantom boyfriend really is Ethan, okay? The only thing that's going to happen tonight is that Teresa's going to get her heart broken again. Thanks to you. Thank you so much. Uh -uh, uh, it's not going to happen. See, I got a good look at Ethan when he saw Teresa in that dress. I'm telling you, the man was weak in the knees. No, no, you're crazy. I mean, Ethan loves Gwen. They're getting married. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the night is young. And hey, there's one thing Italians know about. It's amore. Mario! Asti spumante. Ah, uh, 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 Sophia Loren. <laughs> you know, I could just kill Chad for putting Ethan up to this. Up to what? Playing Cupid. Trying to push you and Ethan together like that. No matter what he does, it's not going to work. Ethan is not interested in me. Not the way I want him to be. Not romantically, he loves Gwen. But I just want to have fun tonight. It'll be another memory for those long, cold nights ahead without Ethan in my life. What about you and Chad? Nothing about me and Chad. He doesn't mean a thing to me, okay? I could never go for a guy that conceited, first of all. You know, he actually thinks something happened between us up here. I mean, can you believe that? It's... Yeah. No. You are so wrong, okay? And so is he. There's nothing I can give you, Ethan. No way I can repay you for this wonderful night. That's where you're wrong. The time has come, Teresa Lopez of Gerald, for you to pay for your supper. Your mother has told me on several occasions that you have a beautiful voice. You know how moms exaggerate? <laughs> Uh, she was very matter-of-fact about it. Come on, Teresa. Hey, when the king says you sing, you got to sing. But I'm not prepared. I, I don't have any music. But... Are you kidding? Hey, Mario the Music Man is on a job. Uh, ah. Who's the one? Do you know it, Teresa? Yeah. It's usually sung as a duet. Hey, there's no problem. Ethan can sing it with you. You know, I really don't think that's such a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> 